Here with second team captain Pete Heinemann Jr. Pete, uh, thoughts ahead of this week's fixture? Well, after a dis disappointing week last week against Cardiff 2, so um, we've got to go into this game thinking we can get something from the game. We've uh, tried to shore up defensively after uh, last week's last minute equaliser. Um, Basically, we're just going to go out and try and be positive, try and get something from the game. Obviously, Cardiff ones are going to be no mugs, they're going to bring the game to us. Obviously, a great playing surface like Fairwood, it's going to be a real test. But um, we've got a good bunch of boys, the first team are in. And so, yeah, confidence is good. Any uh, fitness worries for the sweet beat? We've got a few. We have uh, obviously the infamous problem of Will Heath and Keith never being fit. On Saturday, uh, he couldn't see. Apparently, after going to a, a party on his own and getting punched, so I don't understand that. <laughs> um, Ryan Roberts has uh, came back this weekend. After last week, he tried to do a bit of extra training um, and tried uh, diving head in the ball and injured his knee, so he was out last week. So he's coming back to fitness. Greg King's got shaky ankles, so he's. He's, he's okay, I think he's in contention for a start, but a late fitness test will be performed. Um, other than that, I think we're okay. Um, and you, you're coming up against Cardiff for the second week in a row, last time it was the second team, and this time it's the first team. Do you feel like you're struggling to get the boys up for the game after they're already playing the off I think last week there was a definite sense of... Um, from the freshers, I don't think they really understood the gravity of the situation, but playing against Cardiff, I think they thought, oh, it's just another game, it's books, but I think tomorrow the, the seniors really have to step up to the plate and really make them uh, realise that this is one of the biggest games in their uh, probably university careers. Obviously it's varsity, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so there should be real, no real issue with getting the boys up for tomorrow. Okay, and um, Pete, can I have your opinions on a momentous occasion in the SUNC calendar, the Reef Cup? Oof, the Reef Cup, where do I begin? Well, for being captain of the most social team in the club, having the highest amount of people there every week, um, yeah, I think some of our boys can do real well. I know Joe Palmer's been practicing in two as most weeks. I don't think he's getting much better, but the boys are getting a bit more confidence. Greg King's got no chance of winning it. Uh, Ryan Roberts is always a dark horse, I think. Um, I wouldn't back myself to get much further than the second round, even though Jado's giving me a bit of uh, pressure now. <laughs> but yeah, I think we could do alright. Kieran Yates as well, he's a good fresher, he could, I think he can drink a little bit, so I reckon he, um, he might be an outside bet as well. Thanks a lot, Pete. Cheers, thanks for your time. Cheers.